You guys, you guys, this is a really cool assignment. So if you want to, um, if you want to learn anything, you're going to have to be quiet. All right? Um, yes. What college you go to? I am actually going to Syracuse University. That's in New York.
outside his apartment building. The insurance agents who help these people would surely have sympathized with whoever handled the claim of Walter Umenhofer. He was driving along the beautiful coast of Oregon when his car was crushed by something, and he was covered in its blood. Walter claimed to have looked down to change the radio station when he heard a loud boom, and the next thing he knew, his car was smashed, and he was covered in blood. At first, he was in shock, scared he had been horribly hurt in the crash. But eventually, he realized that he wasn't covered in his own blood, but the blood of whatever landed on his car. When the police showed up, Walter didn't know what to tell them. He couldn't even think of where to start. He didn't have to worry, though, because the police knew exactly what had happened. They claimed that beached whales often explode due to the combustible gases in their stomachs. Walter was in disbelief. He did not put up a fight when the police officers asked him not to mention this incident to anyone. That wasn't a problem for Walter. He was sure that no one would ever believe him if he did tell the truth. Okay. So, is this based on fact or fiction? Raise your hand if you think it's based on fact. Okay, a few. Raise your hand if you think it's based on fiction. Okay, so it looks like more fiction. All right, who wants to come up and... Um, I'll let you come up and you can uh, whatever which one you want, and we'll see if you're right. Fiction. It's oh. 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 Okay, so it was a, it was based on facts. Okay, let's try another one. Scary. Okay. It's all about stories. So there's some actually, so there's some urban legend books that you could um, read on these. This is books. It's not websites. From it's from books and something. So it's not all from one. Okay. Oh, maybe the next one. Don't forget to write. A local criminal decided to fill his wallet by sticking at the nearest liquor store on a Saturday night. Of course, Saturday night is a busy time at liquor stores, so when he walked in and realized the place was packed, he wandered about for a few minutes, waiting to see if the place would clear out soon and be a little easier to handle. It didn't, and he didn't have all night to wait around. So rummaging in his pocket, he pulled out an old piece of paper and quickly wrote a stick-up note on the back. Okay. So, the cashier eyed the note, nodded, and decided to do as she was told. The $536.24 in the register was nearly as, as important as her life. The stick-up man nodded back, smiled, and left with the cash. Her boss was furious. Couldn't she have signaled him or something? Hadn't the silent alarm been installed for just these sorts of occasions? What was she thinking? His anger cooled when she handed in the note and, turning it over, pointed out that it was written on an appointment letter from a probation officer. There, in black and white, was the robber's name, address, and telephone number. Okay. Alright. Okay, so, raise your hand, raise your hand if it's based on fact or fiction. Okay. Is it based on fact? Okay, facts. Who says facts? Who says fiction? Okay, who wants to come forward and press the button? So you don't think a criminal would be that would be that stupid? Actually, uh, I think a criminal could be that stupid. Yes. No. No. Good answer. Good answer. 